you're looking at now is Brands Hatch in the UK, and we've got a pretty good rain going on, a pretty good downpour. As Ryan gets started, you're going to see a lot of puddles. But what you can also see here is the, the way the water is hitting the side of the car, hitting the glass. When he gets driving, you're going to see it moving on the windshield and on the side. So the vision we had for rain was really based on, uh, well, honestly, anyone who's driven on a track in the rain. We, we live in Seattle where it rains quite a bit, so we're very familiar. But what we did was studied how much friction different service types have. On a track like this, there's 148 different service types. That's paint and sealant and tarmac and macadar and, and everything. And we went and tested the friction on every individual bit. Now, of course, also, there's things like these giant puddles. Hey, look at that, wow. And yeah, he was able to control that pretty well. But actually, when you drive through those puddles, we physically simulate hydroplaning on the tires, and you'll lose control. And the drivatars, the opponents in this, they actually learn to avoid the puddles and to drive more like a, a human would going through this all this rain. So the whole race is meant to be a, a very simulation vision of rain, but also something that's fun to explore and learn about. It changes how the car feels on the track and how you have to deal with that car? Absolutely. It sounds different. It looks different. You can see the rain moving physically on the lens. And yeah, the, the simulation of it is something that we really wanted to make a statement about what it means to make rain in the next generation. And so how, how is that rain applied to the simulation? Is it all about the, the water on the tire or does it affect other parts of the car? Well, for the most part, it's going to affect the, the tire is the biggest thing you're going to notice. Obviously, it's much cooler, so the tires don't heat up as much. Uh, we automatically swap on wet tires if you're actually in a racing slick. But racing slicks also, or, or wet tires actually, have different heating properties as well. But, you know, when you're driving on this really, really wet surface, you've got to keep that, that rubber in contact with the road. So going through a big puddle like this one, it's really hard to keep, the, keep those tires on the road. The second iteration on Xbox One for Forza. What does that mean for the game, having a second set on the same platform? Well, we were able to launch Forza Motorsport 5 on the original, on the Xbox 360, or on the Xbox One, and that meant our full engine came over the Xbox One. At 1080p, 60 frames per second, we built 200 Forza Vista cars. We had, uh, I don't know, about 12, 15 environments that we had built. And it was a really big game for launch. But I think a lot of our fans were wanting a giant, you know, Forza Motorsport game. And so that's what Forza Motorsport 6 is. We push the boundaries of simulation. It's a huge game with 450 cars. It's got plenty of uh, tracks as well. But more than anything, we just have time with the platform to optimize and pull all of this extra power out of it. That's where the power comes from, is time of the platform. So we can have rain, night, 1080p, 60, and 24 cars on track. What's more, Sport 5 only had 16. So you've got more competitive cars yeah. in the same race. Basically, kind of on all axes, the game has gotten bigger and more powerful. Yeah.